So in this question, we are going to look at how social credit systems mold citizen behavior. To answer this question, I think the best way is to look at Nosedive, which is the first episode of series three of Black Mirror. This episode describes a society where people can rate each other on a five-star system based on every interaction. Their ratings affect their standing and in turn either limit or open up access to society. And it affects, for example, where they live, um, how they travel, to what kind of healthcare they can access. The candy-colored world that Lacey lives in is a good place to start. What kind of behavior does the credit system reward? And what kind of behavior does it penalize? In the first scene, we see Lacey going to a cafe. Here, you see her in her most outgoing self, very pleasant, very positive, saying hello to everyone, giving everyone good ratings. From this, we can distill that desirable behaviors include being positive, being neighborly, and being nice to everyone. In addition, you also see that in this pastel, candy-colored, beautiful world, everyone is healthy. So later on in the episode, we see Lacey going to the airport where she was told that her flight was cancelled. There was another flight that was going out to the same destination, but the standby seat was only available to customers with a rating of 4.2 or above. At that point, Lacey just dropped in her ratings, and so she was not able to have that seat. Getting a little bit annoyed, she started requesting to see the supervisor, to which she was denied. And so she began to get upset as she needed to be on that flight to be the bridesmaid and the maid of honor of her best friend's wedding. Lacey lost a lot of points in this encounter because she realized that the air hostess was unhelpful and unwilling to help her. As the conversation went on, she requested to see the supervisor of the air hostess, which was refused. And so she got increasingly impatient and lost her temper. When the authorities came, they deducted a lot of points from her because of profanity and intimidation. Now, here from these interactions, what we can see is that Undesirable behaviors include not just swearing, but challenging authority. And this is something that the social credit system highly punishes. Towards the end of the episode, we see Lacey trying to hitch a ride to the wedding. There she met Susan, who was driving a lorry and offered to give her a lift. During the journey, there were moments of rare, genuine exchange where Lacey confided in Susan to tell her that this was all just a numbers game. Susan, in return, told her her story, where she used to be a 4.6, but she lost her husband to cancer because he didn't have high enough ratings to access the exclusive health care that was needed. Here, Susan showed Lacey a glimpse of what it was like to live outside of the social credit system. To not have the rating guide your every move. You can say what you want, when you want. And the way Susan described it was like taking off a pair of very tight shoes. Lacey finally come to realize the wisdom of Susan's words in the final scene of the episode, where she is now in prison. Paradoxically, this is also where Lacey feels liberated as the technology supporting the rating system was taken from her. For the first time in the episode, Lacey was able to express herself 
without fear of judgment. This episode has been compared to the social credit system in China for very obvious reasons. Here we are shown how social ratings, taken to an extreme, can affect the social behavior of citizens.